Okay, pilots. Uh, see if I can get my top wing on. Let's just see what it's going to look like here. This is what we're trying to do. Trying to get them wing struts on. I've got one side on. Let's see if we can get the other side on. And it's not too difficult. But then we'll be putting the other wing on top. And I've got Hangar 51's chat show going. Now, I remember I had to cut a little bit of these. Get the, get the covering away from the hole. It's red, but too red. Okay. <laughs> you know what's too red? You ever seen those, those monkeys in South America? They got that butt. Yeah, the red butt. The then red we butt got to... <laughs> The front one, the two that are the same length. Hey, this one and this one. They telling you to mount them on the outside of the tabs, so the outside of the wing. Now, this one is going to be directly to the tab. It's not going to have another one. I never had a problem. Go to it if my instructions will please stay where I can see them. Yeah. So we're going to put us a washer on it. No. And a bolt. That started, I believe. Did you yawn when we did? Oh, yeah. Now, that was a short <laughs> bolt, and then they give you longer bolts because you've got to not only bolt it to the wing, you to have another support on it here. So putting this on the outside, let's see here. I don't think it started. Gotta cut a little bit of the cover off. You didn't yawn, but you did fart. Okay. Thanks for sharing. I can't see it. Well, it's on the other side. There we go. You can see it, but I can't. <laughs> I put a washer on it. Did I put a washer on it? Yes, I put a washer on it. And then it's got the, the hideaway nut on it. Yeah. 
We got Lewis on there with him tonight. He had Lewis on there with him the other night. He had some folks from was attended the same church he did that was with him. He's been having some guests on his show. I think that's cool. And others have been wanting folks to call in. Let's see here. We're going to put this one in and get you down a little bit. This, this is going, I'm just going to put it in here and kind of just hold on to the, let us see here. Keep it there where it won't get lost. This will be a long one because not only it goes into the wing strut, goes into the crossbar, and then onto the tab on the wing. No, it's it's included. It's free. It's not no free. But you got to. But you do have to request. It's not the default. So yes, Roy, this used to be the uh, F86, the pre-wing F86. There's nothing. The only part I didn't touch on, and I okay. did not. It's just this area right here. Now, I've got some screws that are started already in the fuselage here. Put me some tape on there to keep it from spinning and falling. There was my metal brackets that I made at work. That's actually a spacer that you put in between door hinge, fender bolt, you know, kind of adjust your fender and door and stuff. And I literally just made that one and used the factory. You can see it in there. Let me see if I can get it up there. I can't really see it. But it does have that plastic insert <laughs> up underneath. The up underneath there. And down on it and screwed down with metal. I just didn't trust that plastic. Get spun around here, knock a hole in it. If I can. Chinos and grapes. What? No, what does it say? Uh, grape. Grape knee high. Yes, it's grape soda. Yeah. Yeah. I love grape soda. Grape soda. What the hell is that? Uh, that's that's uh, what's running in the background. Uh, uh, so we're getting two of you. Yeah. Look at your arms in that video. Look at this. Oh, better clean off. Look at that. No, they just. Wipe it off. Nitrogen burned to uh, spots. She said it's cancer. I know it's bullshit, but you know, that's what she did to me. So, I'm not sure we're going to line up, bro. Right. No. Yeah, I got things in the right place. What we do. All them, these braces here. It's got different angles at each at each top and bottom. Up here, you got to make sure all them angles is right. It said on the instructions to make sure you've got the left side on left side and right side on right side. That it makes a difference. The only thing you can do is put them on there the way you think it's supposed to go. See if it lines up by pre-fitting. All this right here is pre-fitting. Now these will stay on here, but the bottom wing will come back off. I've got to take it back off to put servos and things in it. That this is all, you use the bottom wing to line up everything. Line up your tail feathers, line up your top wing, because your top wing will stay on it. 
after you get all this on there you, it's, it's designed to where these bolts down here has got highway nuts you just take them two out and the two on the bottom of the wing and the, the wing will come off got to go in that hole That's going to have to be took, the screws got to be took back out. I got to line that up. Put that in. I want to see what planes he's got parked there. You know what? It's almost. So he's got like a couple of, you know, G5s or whatever. You got that in the story. He's got a couple of and then the 707. Those look cool. But then the 707 doesn't look cool. Let me get this out of the way. I got a hobby knife and cut a cover away from the hole. The 707. It, it was in the. Uh, uh, that was an old 707. Yeah, it was uh, 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 the Australian uh, Qantas airline. I think he made a. gave it back to them or sold it That to is them. the toughest cover yeah, that I have ever seen. Place. Well, I hadn't worked with about four oh, planes, but yeah. this is tough stuff. Yeah, because the whole inside's tough. Now, watch me say that, and my finger will go right through it here in a little bit while I'm doing oh. something. <laughs> Right through it. Okay. Take that one back out. Kind of breaking ground on the tent city here. A washer. And that reminds me, I seen on YouTube the other day at work on my break, I looked through the videos and stuff. I seen on there where some guy had found Motley Crue's personal Learjet that was up for sale. They wanted 35, I think it was, no, it might have been $65,000. Cross thread that. I want to make sure I got that going right. You got 40 million? Jeez, I wouldn't have a clue. I have no idea what a Falcon was. No, no way to play it. No way to play it. I got it started, but the thing's so long, it might take a little bit here. <laughs> four times the points to buy his jet. Sure, I get it. Put a, link, put a link up. I gotta go buy that. Four times the points, man. I want that something. Yeah. Right, I want that big. <laughs> Come here. Uh, get it around this way. <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't tell me my hero is a murderer. Don't tell me that. Say it ain't so, Joe. Oh 
Okay. Yeah, I, I saw it. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. That's it. That guy. That guy. I don't know what it is. Not really going to put a tightening on it. Because it's all, like I said, it's all going to be took right back off here. Got that one on there. That was on there. Let me check my screws here. Just put just a little bit of a tightening on it. A little bit of a tightening on it. All these are, are still loose that I got into the top of the wing. Now I will tighten all those up. Because like I said, they'll stay there. Now let's get over here. position where I can see it. Yeah, there you go. That, that'll be a big hit. Right there first. Yeah. That'll, that'll, be, that'll be a big hit, man. We'll, we'll make millions. Yeah. Now you've got to make sure you've got to do adjustments and make sure your wing is square with your bottom wing and with the tail. Make all those measurements. Do all that. I've got the bottom wing sitting exactly where it needs to be. I've got the tail feathers exactly where they need to be. I've been coming in here and gluing. Letting the glue dry, putting more glue on it. Letting the glue dry, putting more glue on it to make sure because it had a little gap in it. And I had made sure that it was level with the front and the bottom wing. The tail feathers back here was level, same. Made sure of that. Made sure that it was in a 90 degree angle with the rudder and the horizontal. All those things you have to check. Like I said, this is not a foamy. It don't just snap together. They don't have just five pieces that you screw together and you're ready to fly. It's a little more complicated than that. That's it right, Kenny. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes, um, you guess. Yeah, it's Christy, 
loosen these back up. Or I can get a hold of it. It's kind of tough to get that thing started. You don't want to cross through it. It's getting to a point and it's just stopping and I've already got it going. Yeah, 
forgot to buy something. This Allen wrench is not the size, I don't think. Because it sure as hell don't want to spin that. Well, the cops been, no, have they been to your house, Michael? You know what, honestly, every house on this street has like some kind of outbuilding. Any house on this street could potentially be a map. Oh, I'm sure there's a shitload yeah, of them. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. This part of town is number one meth lab uh, production. Oh, cops! Wait, wait, okay, good. Come on. You know what? Actually, we had the cops here yesterday. At your house? Yeah, the, the school was having an event. They were parking all over my property and the property across the street. So the tow trucks came and the cops were. Actually, I'm a phone. Did you call? I called. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny called the tow truck on. <laughs> not supposed to be parking on my property. I pay the taxes on this part of the lot property, not the school. Well, people are parking on my on my property without my permission. No. <laughs> I don't blame you. My neighbor started parking on my lot on one side there. Instead of yeah. causing a big yeah, problem, they, I just planted a line of cedar trees along that side there where he couldn't do it. No more. That's yeah, tight there. No, that's not the hood. That's tight. He doesn't oh, live in come the on hood. now. And he lives in the country. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it's the country. It's the country hood. The we're, country we're hood. Country. Tight enough. Okay, let's put a little bit more on this. <laughs> All right. Now, let's just do this to make a check. You look at her 30 and a half right on the dot. Okay, pilots, let's see what she looks like. Let's put her on, put her on the ground with wings on. Slide the cowl on. Goodness gracious, that's a big plane, huh? 49 and a half inch wingspan. Yes. Yes, Ryan. I was looking at my steerable tail wheel system that I'm going to be putting on it. It's the system where you put a rod to the side of it there and it moves it when you move your rudder or whatnot, whatever. It's, uh, That's that type. It's a, it's a arc. Oh, it's a arc kit. Ooh. You got it, Ryan? Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's a pretty big order. You, you, um, so, yeah, you're very welcome. Let me see here. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on there just to see what it's gonna look like. It even fit. Yep, it fits. Fits good and tight. 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 So you've got the markings there for where that exhaust goes. You've got my radiators cut out there. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I've got to put the elevator on first, then the rudder. I've got a couple of little pieces I got to put on it. But it'll be a little while before I get the motors 
I've got servos. I can start putting the servos in the wings. You know, in the wing. Okay, pilots. I'm out. 